the law of cause and effect, explained. This is the seventh video in a series explaining the 12 universal laws for beginners. If you haven't seen the first six, make sure to watch them for a better understanding. The law of cause and effect is a universal law which specifically states that every single action in the universe produces a reaction, no matter what. Every single effect in our world and upon our Earth has a cause, an original starting point. All paths have an original first step, and from that first step comes a chain reaction of events, with further offshoots spanning out in all directions and so on. Duplication and replication take place. All your thoughts, your human behavior, and all your movements affect the entire universe according to the law of cause and effect. Every single item within the universe is relative and nothing is separate. Therefore, if you move your hand, you are moving this space that surrounds it, and that space is connected to all the space within the infinite universe. Therefore, all inanimate objects in the universe are all connected within the same space and occupy that exact same space or mind. There is no separation and so if you move your hand, you're moving the space which is connected to all things. Although for some people, this may take some time to get their heads around the idea or concept, it is, however, true. Everything that exists within the universe has always existed in one form or another, or in other words, in its chemical or microscopic form, and all things arise from this. Human thought creates a movement no matter how minute it is, unless you are deliberately staying still, but even then, movement will follow. All thoughts lead to movements or human behavior, and all movements and behavior lead to further thoughts. A movement or an action cannot take place without its original thought or preceding thought. Any movement is the result of a thought. We are all governed by a chain reaction of events that started with a cause. We are all subject to the universal law of cause and effect, or effect and cause. Once you set off movement or behavior into the world, it will have a continuing ripple and it will keep traveling and having a knock-on effect way beyond your awareness and beyond your understanding of such a thing. It is also said in metaphysics that all ripples that transfer outwards will have to return back to the source, the source being you or the human that created it in any lifetime. According to the universal law of cause and effect, there is nothing that happens by random chance, nothing whatsoever. All outputs or actions have consequences, and these consequences are either good or bad and may cause a positive or negative influence or effect on yourself or others. Hence the saying, we reap what we sow. According to our cosmic law of cause and effect, there is an equal and opposite reaction to every action as a result of thoughts or that action derived from them. All human thoughts, which lead to words and expressions or output, and consequently, others' behavior create a ripple or a wave, and this can be called energy, whether you believe it or not. And this includes whether you believe in religion or not, or whether you believe in God or not. If you drop a bouncing ball, you will see the law of cause and effect take place right before your eyes. There are many unseen chains or effects which resonate within this entire realm, and these may travel further to more supple realms of existence or finer ones. It is also said in many Eastern or philosophical practices, such as Buddhism or Hinduism, that you, as the being that generated or sent out the action into the universe, will receive its consequences or its effect in one form or another, and that you will never be able to escape the effect of your actions in time. Therefore, it is specifically the intention that lies behind the action that is of greatest concern. If you are considered a good person and you inadvertently or accidentally cause an unintentional action that causes suffering, harm, or death to another, then this is not going to be as consequential for you as it would be if you had deliberately caused the same action for satisfaction, revenge, pleasure, and so on. It is the intention behind the action that matters, otherwise known as karma. All causes will have an effect on everything and anything within the universe, 
which will then lead to further causes of other things. And so the replication or chain reaction of events continues infinitely. According to this law, there is no such thing as luck. There is only action returning to its source in the form of an effect. If this is of any concern to you, then the best course of action is to generate good simple actions, behaviors and thoughts that will create good fruit and sow further good seeds for the future. To learn more, check out other videos on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.